Oh, hi. So, hey. Okay, baby. Oh, this is why if you have big snakes, don't ever handle them by yourself. Because this is just, what, a little two-year-old ball python? And it could, you know, easily jujitsu me into death. So, this is a hypo mojave female. Beautiful. I doubt the colors are coming up on uh, the screen because you know how it goes with uh, cameras, especially cell phone cameras, which is what I'm using. Um, I'm a colubrid guy, obviously. I love colubrids. They're my favorites. I got into the ball pythons for investment animals. But if you're going to get investment animals, might as well get stuff you like. So I got a normal at a pet store, big giant female. Um, and then I started looking around and found calicos, which I love calicos. So I got a pair, a calico male hypo, and this hypo female, Bo Mojave, beautiful gal here. The hypo just kind of fades it out. Looks like it's always in shed. So these should be a darker brown on a regular snake, but the hypo just takes out the melanin fades it out so it's not nearly as dark and I think she's beautiful so that one's a green the cool part where's her little question mark right there question mark huh little baby so I have a lot of hypos um, I have my main boy the hypo calico um, and then her she's not ready for another couple of years obviously but um, my other hypo stuff, it's all het hypo. So I'll have a bunch of hypo here in a few years, which is fine with me. I'm not doing it for, that's all projects about her as a baby. I can't get her out. So hypo Mojave, beautiful baby. Okay, woman. All right, this is my main hypo boy. He's a pastel hypo calico. He has a little stuck shed here. It's the bad part about living in the uh, desert, which is Utah. So dry, no matter what. It's just on coconut, spray them all the time. They still get these, these just spots. But when I was first looking at ball pythons, I just fell in love with the calico. The calico that kind of fades it out. Just so happened to get him. He's been locking up with a uh, big giant, chunky, big chungus of a lady. A uh, spider het hypo, at least that's what they said. So we'll see. But that's what I hope to have is in the future have a lot of calico. Almost everything in my collection is calico and hypo, and then eventually start putting a clown in there. All right, right? So, this is my main stud. He's going to be the main stud for the next few years. Oh, here comes the kitty. All right, here's another future project. This little gal has a couple more years, but she is pastel calico. She's a calico, my favorite. Pastel Calico Het Hypo. Got her from Stone Age. Shoot, Stone Age Pythons. I don't know. Um, I'll put a link you can find on my Instagram. But I love the Calico. So if we can get more of like that uh, little baby, that little baby boy I showed you. Calico. Super Pastel Calico Hypo. I wonder what that would look like. Be cool. Huh. You're little. I got her, she just fit on the front of my fingers like that when I first got her. I don't power feed my animals, I don't need to. They sit there. See what happens when you power feed humans? I don't need to power feed my snakes. So, if you think they're small, after, you know, two and a half years, they just sit there. They poop fine, they eat fine. They don't need to grow up really quick just to you know, poop out babies. No thanks. 
I'll let you do your thing naturally. I don't think they're in the wild, you know, getting fed giant rats every week in their holes, right? Huh. So, do her own thing at her own pace. But what a cool snake, huh? Look at that. Awesome. All right. Here is the big Chungasaurus that that little calico boy has been having relations with. She is a big one. Like I said, she is supposed to be het hypo. I guess we will see, but look at the size difference. Really, she is just thick, 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 thick. All right? I really hope she is head hypo. I would love to have some hypo babies. I know people are all against the spider, but she's spider. Look at her. I have a couple other spiders that are female, that are grown, and no issues. I do have little wobbly Wilma, who's a baby. She does have the wobble, but the spider hypocalico, that would be freaking cool. What do you want, kitty? You wanna play with the snake? I don't think the snake will like you much. But yeah, this is a full grown ball python. You can tell. I wonder if she's... I wonder if she's as long as the... As long as Debra, the rat snake. Debra might be a little longer. Head. Chungasaurus. All right. This is my final part of my calico hypo project. This gal, just a normal calico head hypo. So I started buying these ball pythons a few years ago because, like I said, I've been colubrids. Love colubrids. There, I'll always say buy a corn snake over ball python or anything. But ball pythons have the morphs, they have the colors, you can do a lot more cool stuff with them. And they sell, they make more money, and that's what you have to do. But more calico. This girl's always been a little more timid than the others. They each have their own personalities. So, no two snakes are the same. They may look the same, but they all have different personalities. You can tell she's more stiff. She's not just loose. It's just always been her demeanor. But, yeah. Calico Hypo. That's the plan for the next few years. Hello, baby. She always has that shed on the top of her head, too. Hmm. Utah weather.